time response analysis is our uh, next topic that is to be discussed the name itself is uh, very clear response of a system with respect to time so we need to analyze systems of first order second order for various inputs that should help us to modify or improve the performance any analysis should lead to design the time response is given by c of t c of t and this is given by c of t r plus c of t steady state time response mainly consists of two parameters response in transient period and response in steady state so this is transient response plus steady state response to understand better what exactly transients what elements causing transient response let us consider a simple example that a resistor with some switch is excited by some voltage source say v this is equal to 10 volts say r is 2 ohms then when the switch is closed at t equal to 0 the switch is closed then there will be a current there will be a current that flows through the circuit v is 10 volts then current is 10 by 2 so it is 5 amperes and that 5 amperes also somewhere on the axis so it is instantaneous the current in resistive circuit this is zero so it reaches to 5 amperes in zero time and the steady state current is 5 amperes now i will add inductor to this i will add inductor to this element with the same arrangement no change in uh, other parameters now i have a resistance of same 2 ohms some l some inductance is added it may be milli henrys and uh, this v is as usual 10 volts and the switch is closed at t equal to 0 then what will be the current in the circuit so this current in the circuit current will build up in the rl circuit and that current is given by v by r into 1 minus e power minus t by tau where tau is the time constant of rl circuit l by r now if you see that now response i of t as a function of time as a function of time for 10 volts is the supply so current here v by r v is 10 resistance is 2 5 amperes into 1 minus e power minus t by tau that means i can write this as 5 minus 5 e power minus t by tau there are two terms involved in the response current in rl circuit one is 5 and the other one is there is an exponential decaying term so you can see that the response will definitely reaches 5 amperes like resistive circuit but it takes time now it takes time and that depends on the time constant significance of time constant is how much time it takes for the current to reach 5 amperes so now i will draw that the response in an rl circuit will be like this so you can see that there is an exponential increase for certain time 
that is given by 5 e power minus t by tau and as time approaches infinity infinity this term will be vanished means the transient part the exponential term in the response is a transient part that is going to be vanished as time approaches infinity and the next response 